Hey there everybody, Abolitionist Jay here again with today's vlog. It is currently a little after 6 o'clock on Friday, June 22nd, 2018, and I am still here live from the Midwest Peace and Liberty Fest, the 6th annual Midwest Peace and Liberty Fest out here at the Circle Pine Centers in Dalton, Michigan. Um, as you can see, I'm still sitting here in my campsite, which is right up against the woods. It's nice. Uh, I did get a comment yesterday after I put, I did, managed to actually not only record a vlog, but managed to get it uploaded after a whole bunch of tries, uh, about, you know, the nice green screen we had behind us. I do know, I don't know why it kind of looks like that. I know, I noticed that when Shane and I started recording yesterday that, uh, it kind of looks like we're uh, just sitting behind a green screen you know, in front of a green screen, but no, we're, we're legit in the woods over here. So anyway, since uh, since since I we I last talked to you and uh, I had Shane on yesterday, uh, you know we spent the rest of the day kind of hanging out. Uh, more and more people showed up, um, and uh, we you know we were having some fun last night. Uh, drinking happened, and uh, <laughs> unfortunately, uh, I drank a little too much tequila, and we went to the sauna at one point. Which uh, I had, I had, ne I had never gone down to around here. It's a tradition every year. A bunch of people go down there and crank the sauna up. You know, old school sauna, a little wood box out in the woods. And uh, you know, it was I think it was up to like 180, 90 degrees when when I got down there. And uh, man, that was hot. Um, it was it was nice to uh, it, it kind of loosened up my muscles and stuff, which I've been getting a little stiff from uh, sleeping in the car and then uh, switching over to getting used to sleeping in the tent again. And, uh, so, so that was good, but everybody else has the tradition of, you know, running in the sauna for a few minutes and then running down to the path to the lake and diving in. And, uh, yeah, it was cool enough last night that by the time I got out of the sauna and everybody else was making their way down to the lake, I was already cooled off and I didn't want to go down to the cold water at that point. So I just kind of waited while everybody came back and, uh, went through the whole process again and then we, I'd get out and wait till they all came back. Again. <laughs> um, but you know, that was fun, but unfortunately, like I said, um, I had a bottle, I did have a bottle of water while I was down there at the sauna, but other than that, I drank nothing but beer and tequila last night. So when I woke up this morning, I was very dehydrated, which meant hangover and also woke up with Charlie horses in both of my calves and both of my hamstrings. Um, so that was fun. Had a, you know, good laugh had, was had by Cameron, I think, cause she, she sat there and just watched me struggle in my cocoon type sleeping bag, rolling back and forth, trying not to scream cause it was still pretty early, early in the morning, uh, because I couldn't really move cause you know, I had those pain points in four, in four, in four points, in four parts of my leg. So that was great. Um, you know, definitely getting too old for some of this stuff, I guess, or at least to remember to drink water. But, uh, other than that, it was a fun night and, uh, you know, more and more people started showing up. Like I said, uh, Luis Fernando Mises, uh, got here last night. So I finally got to meet him for the first time after being Facebook friends with him forever. Uh, so that was really cool. And I got to hang out with him a bit. And, uh, Brett Vanat had actually been here the night before, but apparently he got signals crossed and he thought everybody was either gone or went to sleep. Uh, so I could have hung out with him the night before, but Brett Vanat from the school Su Su sucks project. Yeah. I've been, got to talk to him a bunch, which has been really cool. And, um, he actually invited, uh, Shane Radliff and I to come on the School Sucks po uh, podcast uh, to talk about our what we're doing with our van nomadism stuff. So that was really exciting. I mean, I, I had asked him originally if uh, he would be willing to you know sit down with me so I could interview him for one of my shows. And, uh, you know, he said yes. And then we were talking more about some other stuff. And he actually, you know, he asked us to come on his show, which that, that was kind of huge for me because, you know, obviously I've been a uh, fan of School Sucks for a long time. And uh, my only other uh, interaction with Brett was uh, two years ago at Porkfest when uh, I kind of got thrust into being part of his Dawn of Freedom uh, nine-hour marathon podcast that he did there. And uh, we haven't really spoken much since, so it was it was nice to actually hang out and talk with him. And uh, you know, like I said, to be invited on his show, which is you know, wildly, well, wi a wildly popular podcast, um, is pretty big. So uh, I'm looking forward to doing that. And, uh, I think today a whole bunch more people showed up. I mean, Derek Broge ro rolled into town, Prof CJ got here today, uh, Nick Hazelton. Um, and, uh, I, I'm sure I'm forgetting more people, but yeah, it's been great. And, you know, unfortunately the weather's kind of been crappy today. It's been overcast, it rained on and off a bit, a bit and, uh, it's been a little chilly, but the original forecast had been for rain pretty much all day today. So we may have dodged a bullet there. We'll see. But despite the weather, we're still having fun and, um, yeah, 
I'm just kind of out here in my little site by myself right now because there's some some of the presentations are going on and while I, I you know I, I enjoy listening to some a lot of the people that are giving talks and stuff like that and uh, some a lot of them are my friends and I would like to support them uh, I have a hard time sitting still at some of these things <laughs> unfortunately I've learned because uh, like earlier I tried to sit through one because uh, Dale Brown and his threat management team uh, c- came over from Detroit and kind of as a last minute thing a- asked if they could come here and speak you know give a presentation and then uh, they they liked what they saw so much from what was going on or at least were interested enough that they asked if they could come back tomorrow and just uh, hang out and see uh, see how we see how we do things around here so that's pretty cool and yeah it's uh, like i said more and more people have been pouring in because now it's friday and the people that have to work all week and couldn't get here on thursday start to show up today and you know it looks to be another good night i think this is i think tonight's the night that they usually have the old anarchy ball or you know the, the dance party and whatnot but I don't think I, I've, I've missed that both both years. Uh, I may actually make it down to that tonight. Who see? Who knows? We'll see. But um, yeah, it's been a it's been a heck of a lot of fun. And uh, oh, I think I, I don't remember now. I can't remember if I mentioned it or not. But of the other people, uh, I, yeah, because I was talking to Brett Vanat, and he he had told me that Drew Sample from the Sample Hour was coming up, and I, I that he was that was unannounced too. Like he, nobody knew he was coming until Brett told us. Uh, so that was really cool because I, you know, I interviewed Drew on our show, uh, Seeds of Liberty, uh, last year at some point, and uh, I've wanted to talk to him again. So it was really great to actually get to, again meet him in person. But we've actually been hanging out a bunch and talking, uh, so that was a lot of fun. And yeah, just I, I, I enjoy this part of it the most anyway, just kind of hanging out and you know, like I said, there's the presentations and stuff are nice, and sometimes I go to them, sometimes I don't, but. Just being able to hang out and to talk face to face with a lot of these people that you know I've known over the years on through the internet, uh, or even the people I've just come across this time around. You know, every time I come here, I meet new new people who I've had no contact with before, uh, even on social media. And you know, I start up conversations with them, and it's you know we get into all different topics, and it's a lot of fun. It's just it's such a chill setting. And uh, you know, of course, Murder Dog is still the still one of the hits around here. There's a bunch of other. Do- dogs unfortunately most of them are fem- also female but they're all female aggressive <laughs> for the most part so she doesn't really have anybody to pal around with necessarily uh, but she's fine you know because she's just making friends with all the people all over the place and she's still pretty much the only one who wanders all the time without a leash and nobody seems to have a problem with her because uh yeah she's so good and uh you know right now she's sleeping in the tent because she, she has wanted to sleep a lot um, so I, I think she's just, you know, wiped from the whole experience we've been going through for the past couple of weeks, but, uh, and, it, and also because it's been raining on, on and off. And every time I put her in the tent, she starts off on her bed that I, I gave her in there, but inevitably she ends up on my sleeping bag. So I'm trying to, you know, keep the dirt and mud and whatnot for, to a minimum in there since, uh, <laughs> we're probably all going to use this for uh for for the time that we're here and then hopefully pack it up as clean as possible and you know store it back up in the car carrier because once we head out of here we're probably going to be back to sleeping in the car for a while um you know especially once we get back to new york so anyway uh you know that's about it you know i like i said i'm i'm having a i'm having a bunch of fun you know i mean obviously i still miss my kids uh and the wife which you know wish that really wish they could have made it i did talk to i got to uh well, I messaged back and forth today with the wife and, uh, you know, kids are slowly but surely getting better and, um, you know, still obviously wouldn't have been well enough to come, but, and obviously today would have been a bad day for them, <laughs> not as feeling as under the weather as they were when it's cold and rainy and whatnot, but, you know, making the best of it, even though they're not here. So hopefully next year, but all right, but I, I will get wrapping up. Like I said, I, I don't know if, when this one's actually going to get posted. I, you know, I was able to upload yesterday, but it took for, they have the slowest upload speeds in the world out here. And even when I was hardwired into their, uh, router, it still took like forever, uh, just to upload yesterday's video. So I'm going to try to get around to doing, uh, something else tomorrow and then hopefully up, you know, spending some time to upload two things tomorrow. And, uh, you know, then, then by Monday or actually no, tomorrow, Saturday, geez, still got more time here. I've been, I've been here since Wednesday. I've lost off track of time, <laughs> which is great. Just means more time for the fest, but all right. So anyway, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm going to keep trying to do the vlogs, especially since I missed the third one on Thursday. Uh, but I will, tr- you know, when, when I get to upload them, who knows? So, all right. Thank you uh, again, everybody for watching and, uh, I'll catch you next time. This is Abolitionist Jay out. Peace.